Christian, or maybe Aryan, uh, is saying, I'm an atheist, and now I'm in my mid-20s, and I feel like I don't have any goal to reach. For believers, they have purposes. They have a God to take refuge in. What can I do to feel better in my life? Um, personally, I would just find a cause that you're passionate about or a hobby that you're passionate about. What, what are your interests? Just really dive into that. Um, besides well, finding a way to provide for yourself, which we all have to do in different ways. And maybe some of us are lucky to have what we're passionate be what provides for us. Um, besides taking care of your basic needs, what do you have fun doing? What do you um, wish was different well, about the world? I mean, you're in your mid twenties. So I think be, even before you start doing something, you should go on a path of finding what you enjoy, right? Like Susanna's question, answer is good. Like, like, let's say for example, what you're passionate about and you say like nothing, well, then go on a discovery phase. <laughs> Just try so many things and see what resonates. Right. Um, as you age, I think you start noticing that the things that give you the highest amount of sense of purpose are things that provide, provides, solves a problem for most people, for a, a large group of people. Do you know what I mean? Like if you see yourself, if you ever see yourself as part of a solution, to a problem in the world, if you ever get to see yourself like that, not not like a big, it doesn't have to be a big part of the solution, just as, just a part of the solution, right? And like, I'm not saying like, right? yeah, you know, you, you don't have to go on this, you don't have to like delude yourself to think like you are single-handedly like ending something like child poverty or something like that, right? But you are part, like among all the people that are, each one of them, some small part of the solution, you're also one of those people that are part of the solution. If you ever get to see yourself like that, um, that most people find the highest amount of sense of purpose and uh, meaning that way. When they see themselves, when, when they see an ill in the world, a problem in the world, a source of misery in the world, and they look at themselves and they see what they're doing as, as something that is fighting that, right? that's the best source that's the best way to find purpose and meaning in my opinion and ultimately Most people, that yeah. is the same seed behind what drives believers they just mm -hmm. have a different source of where they think that's coming from right but it's, it's yes, the exactly. same drive they think that they're being part of the solution right and oftentimes yes. that informs charitable work but we obviously feel like that the the rationality behind it is flawed so yeah right if you want to go one step further than that you could become a part of a solution in a sense in a way that your the effects that you have had on the world lives after you die right that is if you could do that if you could see that what you're doing will have lasting benefit to the world beyond your lifespan then when you look at that you get a sense of pride and satisfaction that most other things cannot achieve. Yeah. Build a legacy for yourself uh, within the collective. Well, okay. So it's already saying it seems harsh, but I don't care about the world. Well, learn to sympathy is something that you could exercise. It's a, it's a, it, it, even if you think like you're selfish, then for selfish reasons, um, try to tap into that because it's very satisfying even if it's for selfish reasons, right? Um, sympathy and empathy are like muscles, right? If you exercise them, you will start noticing how good it feels to feed it, right? So it's not, you know, if you don't have it, it doesn't mean that you're incapable of having it, right? I actually and also, worked with a neuroscientist whose research was on actually proving that you can learn compassion. You can yeah. see it in a brain yeah. scanner. Do it for selfish reasons. Do it because mm -hmm. I was about to people say. tell you that. Yeah, do it for selfish reasons because, like, it is actually very enjoyable to feed that desire, right? Um, yeah, try it. You know, um, and also, like, I also want to say that you say it seems harsh. No, it seems honest. 
it doesn't seem harsh. It seems honest. Like you know yourself and you're dealing with, you know, the first step is not to delude yourself about what you do need, what, how you are like. So that's a good thing, right? So I'm not, I'm not going to be like, oh, you're a monster. How could you not care about the world, right? You're just noticing that you don't care. But I suggest try to create that care. You, you will not be disappointed, you know. You I will, think you many will people... Feel Many people go through just a complete like nihilistic phase, a little bit of a doomer mentality. Um, yeah, especially in the twenties. Especially oh, yeah. in the twenties. <laughs> but um, yeah. to be able to thrive, to a certain extent, you need to learn the joys that you experience for altru from from altruism, and this is well documented scientifically. And you can do it for selfish reasons. You can say, oh, well, it's less altruistic because I'm doing it for the own satisfaction that I get. That's fine. You know? Um, Actually, and you can you... do that while acknowledging that there isn't me besides what you create for myself. Yeah, I don't even care for myself. Maybe I should begin to love myself first, but I don't know how. No. I've been there before. Well, well yeah. Okay, yeah. well, okay. Instead of trying to force it, treat yourself well, like do the things that would be good for you if you cared to love yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like just do the things that you would have done if you love yourself until, you know, just see yourself as two people, like the person, like if you, if you don't love yourself, if you don't care for yourself, then care for yourself as if it's another person. Right. To be honest, uh, that I understand what you're saying, but that still doesn't work for me. I I take care mm -hmm. of myself because of the people that love me need me to take care of myself. And that's enough of a yeah, motivating but, factor. And one day I'll be able to do it for myself. But I, I'm not. I'm I know, not but that's yet. how it starts. Yeah. No, but that's how it starts. When you love yourself as if it's someone else and you're like, you, you're not motivated enough to love yourself because you don't care about yourself. But then you love yourself and take care of yourself as if it's someone else that needs loving and caring, eventually you will start feeling that you're deserving of this care and love. Like it's something that you, it's a, that will build. Eventually. Also, one thing I just want to say, you're in your twenties. Like m a lot of people go through this phase in their twenties. Okay. So this is completely normal. This is not going to be the rest of your life. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like Susanna, would you like this is why <laughs> me people have also in my mid twenties, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, like this is not this is a nihilistic phase that people go through in their twenties. Many people go through, and then you know, self love and care is something that you develop as you age, as you have more experience with life, right? So just because you are like this right now, this doesn't, it doesn't mean that this is the rest of your life. You will learn, you, eventually you care about yourself and go beyond that and care for others as well. Um, just keep, just keep, just keep experimenting until something works. Okay. Just don't give, just wash your hands off of it. Just like play around with it. Um, eventually something will just click. It, it takes time, right. though. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Hey, guys. If you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.